Well, let's get back to Joanna Chua, Chief Economist Asia Pacific at City. Uh, I notice that you do believe there's relatively little fallout from what's happening in Europe to Asian economies, and we've been speaking about this a little bit. Uh, but the one caveat you do put on this is if the problems don't extend to the UK, can you spell out for us the concerns you have if the contagion does start to swallow up the UK as well? Sure. I mean, definitely, if we don't, you know, one of the things that we look at in the piece is not only looking at systemic risks, but also looking at common creditor linkages. So at the moment, if we look at, you know, most of the problems in Greece and Portugal, for example, uh, is, uh, the exposure there is mostly dominated by European banks. In, in particular, non-UK European banks account for about three quarters of the foreign claims in those countries uh, versus only a quarter in Asia. Now, if the problems and the risks in, in Europe extend to bigger core countries in Europe, say UK, not only do we have larger common creditor linkages because, for example, U.S. and Japanese banks have big exposure, but also the overall systemic risk globally will be much larger, and that's going to have greater ramifications in Asia. Joanna, let's take that worst-case scenario. If the uh, debt problems and the crisis does metastasize to extend into the U.K., then are Asian governments here equipped uh, fiscally to deal with those problems, number one. Is the banking system uh, equipped to deal with the problems in terms of capital adequacy ratios? Well, you know, it's very hard to gauge depending on how big the problem. But at the moment, I mean, banks in Asia, relative on a global basis, are, very, are relatively very well capitalized. And this region is generally a, a large net external creditor. So the ability to withstand, for example, uh, sudden stops of capital flows on the back of risk aversion because of a problem in Europe, I think is relatively strong uh, in Asia. Of course, there's some differentiation across different countries. So the usual higher risk, higher beta countries will probably be a little bit more vulnerable. We must thank you for stopping by today. Joanna Chua, Chief Economist, Asia Pacific at City.